Hey guys, it's me Sorority. Um, and today we're gonna talk about things I wish to purchase during the VIB and Rouge sale. Kind of talk myself through it to see like what I should purchase, maybe what should I not, and get you guys feedback as well for the channel. Okay, I got the Sephora app pulled up, and let's see. So I put some items in my cart, and we're gonna go through it and just have a talk about it. Oh. One of the palettes I've been looking at, there's three actually I've been looking at for. One is the Huda Beauty Empowered eyeshadow palette. The other one is the Purpley More Warm Tone from Huda as well. And the other one is from Natasha Denona. I've been looking at these palettes because they've been offering much more of like a purpley toned palette. Um, with some more of like a cool tone, with specifically the Empowered palette by Huda Beauty. And then My Dream Eyeshadow palette by Natasha Denona. And I'm trying to go between the both. So I just need you guys to comment down below, like, which one should I go for? I feel like once I get a look in Sephora about to these three palettes, maybe I'll make my mind up. Because I also do own the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette, which is also like a cool tone, like purpley, plummy purple palette. But these look a little different. Like they have much more of a gray base in them. Then I feel like I'm going to pass on... Maybe the Huda Warm Tone Palette, Love Fest by Huda Beauty. That one is much more of a purpley warm tone palette. And I feel like if I probably do a video on it and I pull my empty eyeshadow palette, the Magnet Pan, and then pull all my ColourPop ones or like my other singles and make a unique palette, I feel like I could dupe that experience of the palette close enough that I might not want the Love Fest palette. But the Love Fest does look beautiful. I would give them that. Other than that, the product I would really recommend is the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo. That duo is beautiful. It's the price of one of the mini size. And if you get it on sale, it's cheaper. And then at price, if you look at it together, the size of those two bottles is the size of the one full, out, full size of their setting spray. So that's a really, really good deal. And I have bought similar set last year, and I basically finished one. And I'm almost through the other one. I'm getting halfway through the other. The best setting spray set you can get at Sephora, that and the Urban Decay. I'm looking at those two. The Urban Decay is like a really good all nighting setting spray. I already have one, so I may not need to purchase this because then I would end up having three full size, like three new, like full size unopened setting spray, and that is a lot. I wear makeup every single day. But night and Urban Decay Nighting Setting Spray is very much more mattifying and that's only like a certain time of the year I use it. Or if I'm going to like a concert or like an event that I need that makeup to like matte, matte my face. So the next of our products is products I'm not quite sure about. I'm still thinking about maybe I should go with it or maybe not. So one of them is the Mary Great Skin Instant Glow Serum with Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid. This is a product I really want to try. I did a video, haven't posted it yet about Merit's products and like a self-sponsored review, something I bought almost all the products for for myself to give it a try. The Great Skin Instant Glow Serum just looks beautiful, like a beautiful glowy like base from just skincare. Like the skincare base, people are moving away from primers and making sure like the skincare is actually good. And I think this is like an interesting product to do, try to do that with not only makeup, but like for the skin. And it's like Jasmine Golden Thread Root, Japanese gold thread root in there and cacao seed extract but i need to, my butt my basket's getting too big and it's like what do i pull out and i already have the glow recipe nice in my serum so maybe i would hold off on that till like maybe the summer that could be a really nice option another one is viore viore has been pulling through my tiktoks like crazy and also I think my Instagram, I've just been seeing them, like ads for them, and I really want to try their products because I think it's the story they're trying to tell is very beautiful and very interesting to me. They have this beautiful rice water shampoo conditioner and body wash cleanser set, like just like all of it for the hair to your body to wash it, cleanse it, and nourish it for $39 and there's a container for it. And I'm very interested in purchasing this, but I have too much shampoos and conditioners. Like, it's a lot. Like, I have enough shampoos and conditioners. Like, I probably need to declutter some, and then I would probably have to, like, get through the rest. And it's an embarrassing amount. So, like, I don't want to introduce, like, another line of products just to then for it to get lost in the 
not lost in the sauce it sounds really bad but like lost in like the other products that i also really like so i am about to like do like maybe a declutter of some sort with some of my products i have some lush hair care products i really have not been enjoying which is mostly i love their shampoos but their conditioners is just okay for me what i use on my hair which is not bad like my hair is not bad but like i know what it could be on the first day and this is first day so this is definitely not gonna last longer after tomorrow so it might be a sign to get rid of some things and use some things and as i'm scrolling on a couple things i'm for sure picking up is a couple sunscreens like if there's anything like i have to buy during the sale it will be sunscreen i'm very serious about skincare it's one of my favorite passions i would say the thing of sunscreen i love the most from there is the super goop sunscreen the watery lotion the one they just recently released this year i believe beautiful it's beautiful i finished one and i want to buy another i'm working on my cool sunscreen which is really nice as well but i really want to pick up my watery lotion one again because i just generally enjoy it and then I would say another sunscreen I want to try out is actually the sunscreen by Sh Shado. I can never pronounce them right. Shado. They have a stick sunscreen. And I feel like that stick sunscreen is going to be a be better experience for me for trying to do reapplication. I've been getting better with it. I used to be that person that put sunscreen on and then I may for likely forget it because I've been indoors or whatever most of the time during the day, which is good for my skin. But i want to be better about reapplying it because i work in a city now so i want to put some sunscreen and reapply and then go get lunch or that kind of experience um the other techniques i found involve like using the back of your hand and a sponge and then try to plat tap over your makeup where it's that six sunscreen the shishado sunscreen it seemed pretty popular to apply over makeup to pat it in you can pat with my fingers or like a small brush i could carry with me which i do anyways so like the apply powder um so i feel like that would be a good product to try out during the sale along with the other sunscreen is the k sunscreen isle pa lip balm spf 30 with sea moss and aloe stem cell i love this this is like if you were looking for a really good spf lip balm k skin is really better i love it better than my um stun balm sunscreen lip balm i know the k sunscreen lip balm is 14 dollars compared to the my other favorite sun balm which is like 3.99 but the K I K Skin Eye Lip Balm is like honestly very hydrating, very soft. It honestly gives like a lip gloss look on your lips, but it's still being protected by the sun. And I thoroughly enjoy it. There's like a beautiful scent to it as well, like a vanilla y scent that is just pleasant. And I am excited to bring this back. I've almost done with my other one. I would say the problem is I think I had a bad packaging one where like it kind of squeezed off the side. Um, that's the only one criticism I have of the product, uh, like, or the one critique. But other than that, I will generally thoroughly enjoy it. Another skincare I, I want to repurchase again is the Paula's Choice, the um, Repair, what is it called? The Clinical Discoloration Repair Serum. That has helped my hyperpigmentation a little bit more during this past year. And I feel like I did something that I cannot explain when I stopped using. I'm like, it doesn't feel the same. It looks the same as skin. So I'm repurchasing it to make sure that that's, that's the one I think it is. Like that product to make a difference in my skin. The skincare product I really like to try would be the Glow Recipe Hey You, your glowing watermelon set. This is part of their holiday launch with their niacinamide and their BHA toner. I'm interested in trying this. I have their nice cinnamon I've unopened in the bathroom, but I'm really interested in trying out their BHA as well, the big one as well. So it sounds like a value set. And I'm really interested in trying it because I like the BHA from Paula's Choice. It's really nice to make sure my skin is acne free during the summer, or more like much more even tone overall. But during the winter, my skin gets a little bit dry around here, like this little surface dryness. And I think that the BHA being much more of like a watermelon juice make more hydrating and nourishing, I feel it could probably help it out during the summer of the year. I will still repurchase the Paula's Choice later on, but um, I definitely would like to pick that up as well and give it a try. The next hair care product is the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Shea Curl Defending Defining Conditioner. I like the Brio Geo Purple line a lot. The reason why I'm purchasing this, and especially after talking about Viore 
is that the Brio Geo, I already have the shampoo and conditioner on all the products. I almost love the conditioner, only because my brother was using 90% of it. He loved it. And I don't blame him, it's a good conditioner, but I need to I need to repurchase this because like the best thing about skincare is using the shampoo conditioner and the styling products in a similar line because they're meant to work for each other. So I would like to stick with a lot of the products in the same line. And so until like I finish that product set, sort of, I will keep purchasing this conditioner. I do love that set, but I do have a lot of other hair care I need to get through, but that is a repurchase for that reason, just so I can use my other products as well from Briochia. So I went through the Sephora like your set value sets for this year. I would say it's a little lackluster this year. When I'm looking at some of the products today, it just looks like they're regular mini sets or it's just maybe something of value, which the value sets matter a lot to me, like the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but there's a lot of them where it's like, I'm buying minis and I'm not quite sure what to do with this. So like their Sephora favorite sparkly clean makeup set, which is just tiny, tiny makeup products. It's been $42 on like sample size. And then they're not having a lot of their like, if you like it, you bring it in kind of a thing. They're doing with mascaras this year, and that's the two products. I'll, one of them I'll probably buy. I'm trying to pick. One is their, like, their other option that's not the clean one, which is, does contain, like, Rare Beauty, Benefits, Lancome, and all that stuff. And I really want to try the Rare Beauty one. But they also have, Rare Beauty also have a set with their eyeliner and mascara. So it's just a question of me, which one do I want to choose? Do I want to choose something with an eyeliner in it so I can try the eyeliner and the mascara? Or do I try the other gift set where I can try a little bit of all the mascara? That is my dilemma. And I don't need both gift sets, so I just need to figure out which one do I choose. And then the other thing is a lot of the makeups this year is just falling flat. I mean, Too Faced is Too Faced just being extra, extra stuff. Of course, they have the palette sets Charlotte Tilbury is doing, but it's not doing well in terms of ratings, and I don't want to spend 75 bucks on a product I'm not sure about. Um, and when it comes to fragrance, I would say the fragrance this year, in terms of value sets, there's some within a company that'll be doing it, so they'll be like, this is the um, Skylar Big Set Perfume, and this is their travel size. But like Sephora doing like, here's the sample set testers, you pick which one you like, you smell it, and then you go ahead and bring it in for a full size. It's not doing that this year. They're only doing it with the like, travel size so far as I see. Maybe they'll release more closer towards the holidays. But it's kind of disappointing because I think that's the best way to get a perfume for Sephora. If you really like, I still need a perfume. If you love vanilla perfume besides the nuclear one I talked, we'll talk about. Which is very beautiful, like jasmine-y, it has a little bit of lime in there, it's just beautiful. I would say the Skylar perfume is really popular for a reason. A lot of people love the KLV Vanilla 28 perfume. And then I would say Vanilla Woods um, is also a really beautiful perfume as well. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy, and I hopefully see you next time. Bye! <laughs>